93.9 Light FM. Welcome to Tuesday morning. Melissa Foreman hanging out with you, producer Jim, and I do hope you're off to a great start. Don't forget, let us know about a teacher you know and love. We're saluting them Friday mornings at 710. They get a $100 gift card from Duncan. So go to 93.9 lightfm.com keyword contest. All right. One of our friends, our listeners, she's awesome, just came out with a new book and it's super sweet and helps your kids or grandkids deal with losing a pet. So Lori Orlinsky's online. We got to talk to her real quick. So, all right, Lori, how's my favorite author? <laughs> I am doing great. I just released my third book. It's called Balloons for Tiger and it happens to be May, so it's National Pet Month and it's just a really sweet book based on an experience that I had with my kids, you know, your best friend Haley as as you know and Oh, Haley, <laughs> Haley by the way, so Lori's daughter is Haley, the one who just gave a check for 50 50- thousand dollars to Lurie Children's Hospital by making friendship bracelets and I'm so in love with this kid I can't take it but clearly the apple tree makes apples because I mean (laughs) like okay so the book is about losing a pet it is and so Haley and her sister Ellie um, when they were four and two unfortunately we had to put our cat down very unexpectedly and it was the first time they had dealt with loss of any kind so we did a balloon release because I thought that was a tangible way to have them let go of their grief. But it was funny, it it backfired a little bit because they would ask me every day what happens to the balloons when they're up in the air. And so I would tell them these extravagant stories about how Santa scooped them up on his sleigh and they took a ride on a superhero's cape. And, you know, finally I thought, well, this could be a book. I wanted this to be a gentle way to approach the topic of of pet loss. So it's about where the balloons go. Oh my God. What's the title of this book? And why am I in tears? I really need my thyroid checked. I mean, (laughs) okay. What is the title of it again? It's called Balloons for Tiger. And because Tiger was originally adopted from the Anti-Cruelty Society here in Chicago, Uh a portion of the proceeds will go right back to them. Lori, I literally couldn't love you more. The amount that you give back to our world is so astronomical. You were so sweet. The feeling is mutual. We love you too. Uh Where do we get the book? You can find it on my website, laurieorlinskyauthor.com. It's also available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And I really, as I mentioned, I hope this book will help parents and teachers as they have these tough conversations with kids. It's kind of a way to make it more gentle in, in the approach. Balloons for Tiger from my friend Lori Orlinsky. I will make a, a blog and make this available. So if you're listening now and you're like, what was the name of that book? You'll have that available. I love this and we're all going to go get it. Oh, thank you. And I can't wait to see what you do next. What are you doing next? What, I mean, what, are, what what's next? Don't put so much pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> this may be it for my life. <laughs> Lori, it is definitely not it. This is not <laughs> it for you. I'm sure you'll have another novel written by July. Well, from your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> yeah, that's so great. Okay, well, I love you. Thank you again. Balloons for Tiger. And yes. again, look for the blog at 93.9lightfm.com. You can click Melissa.